So this is mostly transmitted between pigs, um, is the swine flu virus, but it's clear from the data that have come from the Chinese scientists that some pig farmers are also getting infected, and there are a handful of cases where there's been severe disease in uh, children uh, in households neighbouring pig farms. I think that the evidence is pretty clear that it's not transmitting easily between humans, and that's the, the most important measure of whether or not a, a virus will transmit through the human population. Um, but what is also clear is that the virus, as it's been evolving over the last few years in pigs in China, is growing in its ability to transmit to humans. So this is something that needs very careful monitoring by, um, but by influenza scientists in China and the, and the World Health Organization. It's a great challenge for flu. We've been looking at this for decades. There's been a huge international investment, and even now we're not very good at predicting what the next flu virus um, uh, that, that emerges in any population, be it pigs or humans. Um, that makes it even harder when we think about the number of different species of wildlife that exist around the world, and that the millions of different viruses that can uh, tr could potentially transmit to humans. So. So we, this is where surveillance and ongoing monitoring of, uh, of populations is really important for us to continue to invest, invest far, far greater amounts of uh, resource into.